Hey everyone, it's John from Right Up State, and I just want to talk quickly about an article that I recently read about Lyft teaming up with ADT to provide a way for drivers and passengers to request help in the event of a situation where they feel like they're in danger. Now, apparently the way this will work is the driver or the passenger can either call or it says silently contact ADT. I would imagine that's either through text or some other method in the event that they're in a situation where they don't feel safe and making a phone call to 911 could possibly put them in more danger. Now, a lot of rideshare apps have been criticized for the lack of safety on their platform by both passengers and drivers. We've seen countless videos from drivers where they've been assaulted by passengers. Um, we have heard stories of passengers who are assaulted and verbally abused and a number of other things that just, quite frankly, make me sick. Now, whether you want to place this on the passengers or the drivers doesn't really matter because I think in the end, the problem is the lack of identity verification, particularly when it comes to passenger on driver violence. Passengers aren't required to provide a photo. Passengers aren't required to provide any form of ID. Passengers don't have to undergo a background check. The onus is always put on the driver to make sure that they've got the right passenger, that the destination is correct, and a number of other situations that can be potentially dangerous for a driver and a passenger both. So I think one of the things besides teaming up with ADT or any kind of other security firm that the platforms can do is make sure they have identification from the passenger and that proves who they are. Anyone can grab someone's phone and take a ride in an Uber or a Lyft. Anyone can request a ride for someone else, and no form of identification is needed for that. And that's dangerous to drivers. What's dangerous to passengers is when these platforms don't actually do criminal background checks. The checks that they do are based on your driving history and really whether or not you have any felonies but these aren't very thorough background checks. So as an option, one thing that I would like to see is for drivers to be able to opt into a more thorough background check and become, let's say, I don't know, verified. You get a check mark or whatever the case is next to your name so that when passengers see that they're requesting a ride and you're their driver, hey, you're a verified driver. Lift or Uber have taken extra steps to go into your background and make sure that there's nothing shady going on. Now, of course, people are still going to slip through the cracks. There's nothing you can do about people who take advantage of a situation and commit a crime. But I think if you had an option like that, where you had actually verified drivers with more thorough background checks, a passenger then could say, tick a checkbox that says, I only want verified drivers. That could maybe be a premium feature where if Uber is going to uh, absorb the cost of doing those verifications, then they charge an extra dollar per trip. Or if it's a subscription, a certain percentage. So anyway, it's good to see that these platforms, Uber and Lyft, are thinking about driver and passenger safety. I'd like to see more done on the driver safety side of things, but really what it comes down to is you have a massive number of passengers. 
you have a massive number of drivers and there's going to be criminal activity. And what makes the news and what makes the headlines is bad news, right? If it bleeds, it leads. We've heard that before. And so we need to be aware of that and realize that given the number of rides that these platforms provide every single day, it is a fairly safe mode of transportation. It is a, it's a fairly safe side hustle, and it's a fairly safe way for people to get around. I'd like to hear what you think. Please let me know in the comments below. If this is the kind of content you want to see on this channel, hit the like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. As always, my name is John Wilkerson. This is Ride Up State. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.